good now. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining this week's pipeline authoring uh, SIG meeting. Uh, during the course of the meeting, we're going to adhere to the Jenkins community's code of conduct, which more or less just means be excellent to each other uh, and be nice. Uh, we are recording, so if that's uh, an issue for you, feel free to, to either not have your webcam on or, or drop off. This will be uploaded at a future date. Uh, the Zoom uh, excuse me, the, the meeting notes for this document for this meeting have been pushed in the Gitter channel. Uh, so I will share my screen so that we can track those notes. One moment. And I can also post that in the Zoom chat. One second. I think I can. I'm not sure if I can share and message at the same time. Chat. There we go, everyone. All right, so the, the link to the meeting notes is in the uh, Zoom chat window. Feel free to join and add yourself to the attendees. Uh, I think we're going to start today's meeting uh, with Mark, who has something to, to talk to us about, about the user experience hack fest coming up at the end of May. So, Mark, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand it off to you. Super, yeah. So May 25 through 29, we're going to do a user experience hack fest, an online event to encourage people to help with improving the experience for users of Jenkins. And the experience includes not just user interface look and feel, which is certainly a compelling part of it, but also their experience with documentation. And I think it's the pipeline authoring SIG is a good fit for, hey, there are ways to improve user experience in authoring pipelines. Uh, one of the specific activities I just completed last night was to identify the top 40 pages on the Jenkins wiki in terms of their access patterns. And I placed issues onto Jenkins.io in the GitHub repository for those top 40 pages. We'll now work through those. And it might be a place where the authoring SIG might want to look at some of those issues, help me process them and think about hey, which of these are pipeline specific and where should that information be placed so that we can get some good first time contributor issues ready to go for this hack fest on the 20, that begins the 25th of May. Now, Oleg's joined us and Oleg, maybe there's more that you want to highlight on the hack fest? Um, yeah, I shared the link uh, to the current work in progress document. Uh, yeah, I have uh, almost completed the pull request for landing page for the hack fest. Uh, but yeah, if you want, I can just uh, show the Google document quickly. Sure. Let me stop sharing. Okay. I'm not sure if I'll have to explicitly give you permission to, no, to share or if you can just. Uh, well, uh, you disabled my. Uh, yeah, we have to sharing. we have to hand over uh, leadership of the meeting to him. Oh. The way that Mark has it set up is, is that way. Yep. Um, yeah, we could fix that later. Um, yeah. Another later time, yes. Yep. All right, I can share my screen in the document that you had uh, shared okay. in the Zoom chat. Yeah, that's, that's fine. what you're going to Probably the up. easier way to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to open um, the agenda notes uh, to link them properly. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I can't. All right. Uh, yep. Uh, so this hackathon will have uh, three main tracks: uh, user interface, user documentation, and also spreading the work, uh, sharing uh, your stories. Uh, and basically, the pipeline authoring uh, have uh, some cases uh, in all three domains. So user documentation is what Mark uh, presented already. But spreading the word, yeah, uh, many people create pipelines. So maybe uh, somebody could share their experience, especially about development tools. So how you know, cool is it to create uh, pipelines with Jenkins or how not cool, let's see. Um, and user interface, uh, there are also some relevant tasks. So for example, one task which we have uh, tentatively put on the agenda is uh, improving uh, pipeline browsing uh, writing in the Jenkins web interface. So not in a blue ocean, but um, in classic Jenkins. Um, it's under the discussion, but it could be done. 
and potentially pipeline authoring seek uh, has other use cases. For example, uh, there are topics in the roadmap like ID integration, etc. If the seek wants to focus together on a, uh, whatever single story, I think we could easily add it to the hackathon scope and maybe to facilitate contributions there. So yeah, if you scroll uh, down, uh, there are some project uh, tracks, uh, project IDs. Yeah, you can see that uh, there is a lot of things in TBD uh, because yeah, we started assembling it uh, basically this week. Um, but um, yeah, we try to get some stories on the table already. So if you have any suggestions, if the special interest group uh, would like to work on something together, uh, this is definitely a good opportunity. So I think that's a good idea. Mark, do you have a, which repository did you create those 40 issues on? Maybe we can go through those pages and see if there's something that's uh, particularly well suited to this SIG and see if we can add labels for mm -hmm. uh, the pipeline authoring SIG so we can track which which issues are most applicable and we can maybe coalesce around those. Yeah, uh, good idea. So github.com slash Jenkins CI, or no, slash Jenkins dash infra slash Jenkins dot IO. Yep, that's the one. And if you look at the issues there, there are now 66 issues, whereas before they were in the 20s. Each of these pages that are right now visible there say convert some wiki page to Jenkins dot IO. And so what <clears throat> you might actually use the the GitHub search facility there, go back one, Stephen, and if we just put the word pipeline in there, I think it may may already hint if there are any of those pages which have pipeline information. Yeah, I would be surprised because pipeline was created um, mostly after the Jenkins IO website. So mm -hmm. Jenkins IO was introduced in 2.0, and after that, there was a major effort to create pipeline documentation. So I don't think we have any feasible or useful uh, pipeline documentation uh, on Wiki at the moment. But at the same time, uh, there are definitely a lot of opportunities to improve pipeline documentation uh, on Jenkins IO. Well, and, and I've got lots of feedback from the docs feedback form that is submitted with Jenkins IO. Um, so there's a, a docs feedback spreadsheet that we collect feedback from the Jenkins IO pages and many, many of them are asking for, hey, give me better pipeline examples, give me better this or better that relative to pipeline. Yeah, maybe you would like uh, to share this uh, spreadsheet link. Oh, yeah, yes. No. Yeah. So probably we need to move some of these stories uh, to GitHub issues. And uh, last week, we already had a discussion about replacing a Google form for providing feedback uh, by just uh, GitHub issues uh, to keep things simple. Um, but here, we haven't implemented it yet. And for me, it's one of the topics I would like uh, to address in user documentation. Awesome. I think that's a good idea. I am. I just mm -hmm. saw one that caught my eye. I remember I opened a pull request related to this one around CPS mismatches, logs that get thrown. So um, basically troubleshooting maybe I'll, CPS, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised. This, I just, yeah. when Mark mentioned this one, I went and looked, so I just commented on it. This page is still relevant, I think. I would really like to expand this into more comprehensive documentation, but it's kind of the mm -hmm. best that I know of on low level details of pipeline for now. Great. Well, and, and that's, that, Devin, you and Stephen just, just inspired exactly what we hope for here, which is help us identify which of these things are high value, which are less value, and that way we can, we can make progress. I put a link into the pipeline authoring SIG notes to the, the big spreadsheet that collects all the data. No need to show it right now, Stephen, just for everybody else's reference. If you ever want to hear really blunt feedback from people, uh, sometimes laced with profanity, about something they dislike about the documentation, that's the place to go. Probably often at least with a, a profanity. Yeah. Right, and I apologize for that, but we don't filter it and that's okay. We just trust that you will yeah. turn up your, your, your comfort, your, your, your barriers and not worry about them saying harsh things about something. 
it's like Yelp reviews, right? There's only the two ends of the spectrum that are going to provide comments. Those that are really happy and those that are really unhappy. Yeah. Why do they even give so, you the, the, the four, three and two star? It's really only one and five. It's the, <laughs> just, uh, five is on I don't trust people that give three stars. <laughs> Something sketchy going on if you're giving a three star review. Right. Yeah. So uh, definitely if you have four stars and yeah. If you see any Go doubts, uh, and for example, Liam, Devin, you, Steven, you like to have a lot of experience with Jenkins pipeline documentation. So you could just uh, start creating GitHub issues for that, because uh, even if we don't handle them during the hack test, it would be useful uh, in the future. For example, we are starting uh, Google season of dogs. Hopefully on one day we will get a positive uh, response about whether we accept it or not. And if you accept it, the improving pipeline documentation could be also a potential project there. So just having uh, issues, etc., um, would be helpful. Yeah, I took a quick look at awesome. the spreadsheet from Mark, and it just seems like 90% of it is people asking for examples on all of the pages that give the steps documentation, which is auto-generated, which makes sense, but I mean, well, actually, that, that one, I specifically had a concept, Devin, that I think what we ought to do there is more frequently point them to pipeline snippet generator and say yeah. over and over again, use the snippet generator that's already in your system. It will generate okay. examples for you. Well, Owen uh, told the uh, examples uh, right inside uh, plugin code because uh, the step generator uses Javadoc. You can uh, inject snippets right inside Javadoc. Uh, in some cases, right, so it's I think not it's uh, reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's twofold. I think, you know, the pipeline syntax generator, I don't want to call it a hidden gem, but it's like a trick that a lot of people haven't heard of that I interact with. So, like, exposing that in more places. And then also in the plugin development docs, maybe having a best practices section where we talk about it'd be great if you could provide snippets in your in your java doc um, mm -hmm. so that this is exposed in our documentation yeah. Yeah. right because oleg forgive my ignorance but i wasn't aware that java doc was used so that i knew about the dot html files that i can embed and those those i've done with the git plugin for instance but it was a lot of work. Um, you're saying that it's some of it is extracted actually from Javadoc for the classes, for the classes and the attributes. I believe so. I might okay, be. Okay, I'll have to investigate uh, that. Thank you. That gives me hope. Uh, but, yeah, I might be messing up with it with extension points. Maybe Devin has. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think that Javadoc works. I think it's like the embedded HTML files and things like that. Um, but I don't know. Maybe we're thinking of different can things. You write Java doc, can you write Javadoc extensions that like wrap HTML, CSS classes to do code snippets or something? Like that I, I refuse to accept the world as it is. Like maybe there is a way that you could write plugins for Javadoc to do some, some syntax highlighting and stuff like that right through your Javadoc. At some point I created yeah. Python library documentation generator powered by Javadoc. Maybe she have yeah, uh, published this final. I think definitely we could ask people to put examples, whether it turns out that Dropadoc works or it's the embedded HTML help files. We could say, hey, try and put examples, whichever of them it is. Mm -hmm. Or even if it's like we recommend that at the root of plugin <clears throat> GitHub repositories, they have an examples directory. And then in your Javadoc, you just say, like, go, go check it out here. Um, so yeah, that you can see it right in GitHub or something. The only thing about Javadoc is that I don't really, it seems unexpected for me to have users be looking through plugin source code, or at least like I would hope they don't have to do that. Well, uh, we could uh, apply more magic. We have a repository called pipeline examples. We could somehow automate uh, extraction of data from this repository. Um, because our uh, Jenkins IO website also has a lot of port generation. So we could apply some magic to take examples right from uh, pipeline examples repository. Uh, 
but yeah, this magic would need to be designed and implemented. It's definitely so, something we could do during the hacker fest. So uh, I, I'm happy to just document it as a potential project. You definitely have a tricky task of mapping the examples and the pipeline examples GitHub repository to the documentation pages that are auto-generated from the plugins themselves. But that would be an interesting idea. Uh, yeah. All right. All right, so the action items that are coming out of out of this are to, and I can make an, an actions item here, um, uh, to review the top 40 pages uh, for opportunities that align to the, to the pipeline authoring sig. Um, and then from there, once we identify those, we can then uh, see if anybody has the capacity to, to help improve those or as part of the hack fest, do, do some improvement there. Mm -hmm. Is there any, anything else we wanna consider for the, uh, the hack fest? Any of our features on, on the roadmap that we've talked about from, from like that code analysis to unit testing to all that user experience type stuff. Is there anything that we think would be a good fit for the Hackfest? Well, basically everything would be a good fit if you have uh, either newbie-friendly tickets you could uh, suggest, or if you have a team uh, which would be interested to, to work on that. So yeah, we have a lot of ideas we could do, um, but yeah, basically six uh, could just um, uh, discuss what they would like to do together, um, uh, have it the kind of team bonding event or whatever, uh, why not? Okay. So, yeah, new beer friendly features. Yeah. We should definitely, um, yeah, definitely do the, the new beer friendly side of that to try and, and, and having more stuff doesn't necessarily make it better. It's more like, okay, let's, at a certain point, so okay, we have enough. Um, we could, we could add more of the things, but, Mm -hmm. Yeah. I okay. Mean, so uh, that, that's coming up on the. I was just gonna say it's coming up on the twenty fifth. So maybe one of the actions for those on this call that that have the opportunity is to review the uh, Hackfest page, so that next Friday we can see if there's anything that uh, is already on there potentially that's a good fit for the goals of this this SIG, and see if we can try to break that down into like newbie friendly tasking and and all those great things. Does that sound like a plan? Uh, yep, yeah. it's a good plan. All right, so for next time, uh, actions and for next time is basically the same thing. So we'll uh, add something here that's review uh, existing Hackfest activities uh, for this next time discussion. All right, is there any, were there any leftover items from, from last week's meeting? I know that we, if I remember correctly, we talked about the pipeline as YAML. We talked about the, uh, the new uh, job factory idea that, that Stephen Foster had proposed. Was there anything from that that we, we tabled for this time? Let's see. Um, not specifically. Um, I still have to write those Jira queries. I'm not, I have not had time to do that, so. But other than that, the other two things are basically take a, uh, take a look at the, the YAML plugin and just give it a try. And then Steven, you had some 
sort of questions that we have on, on the in the notes. I did. I don't know if those are actionable questions or just nope. me pontificating. No, they were just there were there were, there are questions that we want to keep in mind, but um, I don't think we have anything else. Awesome. Well, so is there any other topics we want to cover in today's meeting? Or do we want to cut this one a little short? Uh, and we'll review these, the HackFest and uh, the existing issues that Mark has created, and we can regroup next Friday. I think we're good. I think so. That sounds good. Awesome. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the recording. Uh, Devin, I would appreciate like three minutes of your time if you could hold on after I cut the recording. Um, thank everybody for, for joining, and we'll, we'll talk to you next week. Okay. Bye. Somewhere in here, I should be able to stop sharing. There we go. Hey, Devin, I have a quick question. I think the, re question the recording is still going. It is. Let me stop. Pop.